Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am very out of practice with doing this. It's been a while. Fair forewarning with this video, the tone might be slightly different than what you're used to if you've watched previous videos on my channel because I am completely unscripted. Normally I write up pages upon pages of notes and scripts and all of that stuff and I practically memorize it and then present it to the camera. But this video is just me talking not sure if it's a good idea, but I'm trying to push myself and we'll we'll see how, how this, this situation works. I feel like I should say where I've been for the last, I don't know how many months, since November, something like that. Um, I obviously was making those videos as part of projects and stuff for the film school that I was attending and now I have started working. I'm actually the video content producer for Orms, which is a large photographic company in South Africa. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more of the sort of cinematic, inspirational kind of work that you might have been used to seeing on my channel, you can go and check that out because all of that sort of stuff is going up there. Uh, I haven't really had time to make videos for this channel because it's a little difficult to find time between working nine hours a day and freelancing and trying to eat and sleep and maintain a healthy, balanced lifestyle. But yeah, so... That's my excuse. Anyway, besides the point, I do still want to keep this channel and try when I think of things to make videos, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna kind of fit the precedent of the previous videos that I've had on this channel, which are very scripted, you know, very verbose, full of big words and, you know, lots of pretentious stuff like that. Anyway, that brings me on to, uh, well, at least I should probably get to the point of why I'm making this video, and the point is that I recently bought a film camera uh, and it's this, I don't know, I think it's in focus here, this is an Olympus OM-1 which is apparently quite a quintessential little piece of tech from the 1970s. Why did I buy a film camera? Well, I'm pretentious. Does, <laughs> do I need another reason? No. Um, I, I recently, after I graduated from college, I started trying my hand a little bit at photography using um, either the ATD that I'm filming on now or the 70D, which I just sold, um, to take like black and white photos. It was all very like manual, very artsy, whatever. Uh, and I found that I quite enjoyed it, but I thought and had been thinking for a while that I might enjoy the process of using a fully manual film camera significantly more than uh, I would enjoy the process on a DSLR. You know, I'm not doing this as a job, it's just a hobby and I wanted, you know, a hobby. I actually realized I had none, you know, I was working, sleeping, eating, that was my entire life uh, and watching way too much series. So <laughs> I thought it would be fun to, to throw something completely different into the mix. Um, I wanted to have some kind of hobby that was very like meditative, um, you know, very slow, uh, where I could really like, take the time to think about composition and just working with something with my hands, all of that sort of thing. So I'd been contemplating it for a while and putting it off and I eventually got one. I bought it up maybe just under two weeks ago. It would be two weeks this Friday. I don't know when this video is going up, but <laughs> I bought it off Instagram from a place called Algorithm Archive and I will have all the links to their social media and stuff in the description. Um, but I got it for a really good price and it came with this really, really cool little um, 50 mil lens. It's a prime lens, obviously, and it is a 1.8 aperture. Anyway, I've been saying as a joke for a while that it would be funny if I made a video of me reacting to my first roll of film. Uh, I was given a roll of expired cold a roll of expired Kodak Gold um, with the purchase of the camera. Fact is, I've never used a film camera before. I had no training. I figured this out on YouTube, or at least I hope I figured it out. I guess we'll see. <laughs> but I thought it would just be amusing because we've got no idea. Like, this could be a really nice surprise and they could all be absolutely amazing. But I, I have a funny feeling it's not going to be the case and it's going to just be straight up terrible and then we can uh, laugh at how useless I am at this and how much I need to improve, which I will still hopefully do and not feel completely defeated and give up after uh, seeing whatever is on whatever is on uh, this disc in here. I got my film developed at Orms, of course. Anyway, that is the CD it came on and these are the processed 
negatives. I'm still learning the terminology, as you can clearly see. I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, let's let's see if my pathetic tiny MacBook can handle doing a screen recording at the same time as loading a CD. <laughs> Here goes absolutely nothing. Oh great, it's not even not even mounting the disc. This is how jank this thing is. I have to type things in terminal just to get it to work. CD appears to be loading. I'm really hoping these aren't terrible. I really need something to post on my Instagram. Ah. So in case I didn't mention before, this was a roll of Kodak Gold. I think it was a 200 ASA. It might have been 100, but I don't think so. Oh, my laptop is making so much noise right now. And yeah, it was 36 shots. Did I mention that? I don't know. So the whole thing with expired film, from what I understand, although they're now saying that film doesn't technically expire uh, because people just carry on using it as if it hadn't expired. Um, but you don't really know what the color reproduction is going to be like. Also, I think I was chatting to some film people the other day and they were saying that you're apparently supposed to stop your ASA down by like one stop per decade that the film's been expired. And I think mine expired in 2006. So I should have probably stopped down a little bit. I didn't. I was already so far through the role of film at that point. So yeah, we're gonna see what this looks like. Fully expecting all of these to be complete and utter rubbish. Just saying. <laughs> so much noise coming out of this computer right now. Hooey! Okay, I think that's the last one, but I'm getting something. Oh gosh, they're in such funny order. Okay, well, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a, an additional level of fun then. Okay, so this first photo I got here, I think was actually the last one I took. Uh, I'm gonna just make this full screen. Oh wow, there is so much grain. Composition wise, not terrible. Maybe I can clean this up a little bit in Photoshop. Damn, this is grainy and so green. I was hoping for a beautiful golden light, didn't get it though, but at least the composition is not entirely shit. <laughs> uh, would have be nice if I had a wider lens though, because this was really difficult to get this. And I spent forever styling this to make it look nice. I'm a little bit mad that this didn't come out nicely, to be honest. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Oh, wow. Okay, what is going on here? The exposure's all over the place. Okay, I think this one, though, I'm not surprised it's terrible. I knew it was going to be bad. Um, this was taken out of the car while driving on the highway. P probably not enough light. Yeah, and it's ooh, all over the place. I don't think anything is in focus. That's actually something I want to check with this one. Okay, at least you can see stuff's in focus. You know, like... Oh, but you can't see my beautiful plants. No, that's so sad. Yeah, okay, this is terrible. Absolute garbage. It was pity because it was really pretty light as well but i fully expected this one to be rubbish okay this again taken oh this was out okay this is outside uh well i don't know if i should say where this is i don't want people stalking me but this is in town <laughs> um and okay you know what the only thing i will say that i'm kind of let's see if i can zoom in at least it's like relatively sharp like i'm not getting the focus wrong because that's something i had to get used to is how this thing focuses and that whole system behind that. Oh, also point I should probably mention, I don't have a battery for the light meter inside this thing. Um, so I've been using an app on my phone. I think it's called Lux. I'll insert that down here. I don't know if it, how accurate it is though, I must say. But I mean, somebody, okay. If y'all know about film, just tell me why it's so grainy. I mean, it probably because it's expired. Like, I feel like this is not a normal amount of grain for a 200 ASA film. But okay, at least it's like, the colors are pretty. I'm not mad about that. And the composition's not terrible. I mean, like, not okay with this situation. Maybe we can crop that out. I don't know. What is this next one? Any time now, computer. Jeez. Oh, wow. Computer is not cooperating. Next photo, gosh darn it. What is this? Okay, yeah, there's so much noise and blacks in this thing. Okay, but this was inside my office. Completely unsalvageable, to be completely honest, because it's so dark in here. This was a little underexposed, I think, when I took it. Um, and where is my focus? I feel like my focus was on the couch here, but you can't even see because it's so grainy. What is this? What was I taking a photo of? I don't know. I think I was... Oh, that in the corner. Cried out to make it stop. I feel like I was trying to be artsy with the composition here, but the fact is the grain and the noise and it's so nasty you can't even tell. Next 
photo. Again, weird composition. Irritates me that that tree is cut off and there's a bit of that. No, no, no. Such, yeah, it's like you totally lose color in the darker sections of the film. Oh, that is atrocious. Yeah, way too underexposed. I think I was just trying to use up the roll of film at this point. Oh, I'm kind of sad that one's not great. It's cute. This was, um, I went on a photo walk with some people uh, that, like a Facebook group, for, like film enthusiasts in Cape Town. And on the way back, my dad and I were walking to the car and I took this photo. I don't even know what this building is. Oh no, I do know what this building is. This is the building where I went wedding dress shopping for the first time about four years ago. Huh, cool story, bro. Oh, I kind of like this one. It's very like street photography, very gritty, you know, cool sort of, I don't know what you call that, gates. <laughs> and I mean, it's not too, okay, my, it seems like my exposure was a little more on here. I'm not mad about this one, it's fine. Like, it's okay, I'm not mad at it. Also that, I love that. Okay, I know, like, the green is atrocious, I must be honest, but it, it like works, you know, it actually is pretty freaking cool. I'm really happy with this one. I mean, you're that grain though. But it kind of like, okay, it plays into the building and stuff. Are those birds? I can't decide if that's birds or dust. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, okay, I like this one. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little happier now. I was a little concerned at one point. What? Oh, okay, I did take a photo here. Sorry, okay, I'm a little grain. This is over the top though, but I need to embrace it a little. Okay, I actually really like this photo. My dad took a photo from a different angle here, but I really like this kind of like beam of light and you can see all these colors and this and, ah, no, I, okay. Look, if you hate these, just tell me in the comments, it's fine if you do. I have no idea what I'm doing, like I said, but I don't hate this. I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. <laughs> this is an improvement for me. Oh, what is, oh, oh, hang on. Does this, this be, this be like really skew? Okay, now we can see it. I actually don't hate this. I mean, ooh. To be fair, you cannot see. I realize I'm completely out of shot this, sorry. You can't see what is in focus when I zoom in like that, but I mean, Maybe I shouldn't like this. Maybe I'm being biased. Wow. Also, hella skew. What is that? Weird colors as well. The green really coming through strong in this. And I don't know if that's like my fault or whether this is... Oh, okay, wait. What have we done now? Just go away. Stop. Leave. Am I going to have to do this for every single photo that I shot in portrait? Because I shot a lot in portrait. I didn't shoot a lot in landscape. Stop. Just stop being difficult with me. Delete copy. <sighs> I hate it when technology doesn't cooperate. Okay, next one. Um, I don't hate that. This was, uh, this is near the, um, the brewery. No, is it? Yeah, okay, yeah it is kind of near the brewery. It's behind the rugby stadium in Newlands, you know, this pub or something. But yeah, it's really, it's so crazy how blue and green and stuff, this has come out very cold tones, whereas it was actually like early morning fairly like rosy golden sort of light so i feel like i actually completely forgot to mention stuff with these previous ones oh yeah this was under the train station uh that is also in newlands this is behind stadium on main i think i actually looking again at this photo i really love this photo and that one and sort of this one can you see what's in focus this is the only thing about this grit. Well, okay, other than the fact that the grain looks terrible, but like the only other thing is I can't see if I was sharp in my focus. I'm just very curious. I've actually got like a completely different roll of film and now it's like a fine grain 125 ASA black and white film. And I'm very curious to, to see what that comes out like. What is this? Oh, this was by the pool in Newlands. Yo, you can't see anything in here. I feel like this is definitely the expired film exposure thing I was talking about earlier because there was definitely, I could have seen some detail in here. I feel like this is, to be fair, this was very early in the morning. I probably shouldn't have been taking photos at this time. I don't like this photo at all. It's terrible. Also, what is that? Uh, this was a mistake. 
Ew. No. Oh, gross. What's with that? <laughs> <laughs> um. I can't remember what I was thinking when I took this one. It looked better in the viewfinder. As it does so many times. <laughs> like all the time, basically. <laughs> what is going on? Computer, can you not do this to me today? Please, just stop. Can you stop? What is this? You know when you look at something that you've taken and you're like, I don't even know what this is of. What? What? I, honestly, I'm looking at, I'm trying to decide because I have absolutely no idea what this is. Literally not a clue. I'm just going to give up on this one. It's terrible either way, but I'm, I'm just so confused right now. What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, hang on. Something happened here. I think that's hilarious. No, are you joking? Okay, either they scanned my film in wrong, which I don't think is, I don't think that's the case. I think what happened here is I didn't maybe pull a thing back. No, that's not possible. I am really mad about this. If this is like my fault, because this photo on the left looks like it could actually be quite nice this is a portrait of my friend shot in her house and it could be quite cool and it looks so bad because it's half of one foot oh no no oh okay this was sitting in the car just trying stuff so grainy so grainy but at least you can see that that's kind of sharp okay mm. how many more oh, what is this oh okay more weird compositional stuff but this grain though is so bad. Oh, it's... Okay, this was actually the first time I was shooting. I literally just loaded the film like an hour ago and I was um, at my husband's office just messing around with the camera. Um, that is really bad. This film's obviously not fast enough to shoot in low light circumstances. Okay, I kind of like this one. Just again, the noise in the freaking shadows. So bad. But I actually... I really like the composition of this photo, to be honest. Maybe just like crop that out there. Maybe crop that out. Not mad at it, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I like this. Hang on. Ugh. I don't want to do the whole tilting and rotating. But this is okay. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to fight with the computer for a second. Don't mind me. Rotate left. Yes, I know. Just duplicate the photo, please. I like this photo a lot. This is again at the office. Again, super noisy, but I really like the composition of this photo. It's skew though. Why do I always do that? I think it's dead center and it's like chopping on the left slightly and just <laughs> irritating. Okay, now it's gonna delete the copy. Okay, I don't mind that. That's great. What is this? This is so sad. That would have. I liked that shot when I was looking at it, and it was so sad, so noisy, why? What is the, oh, okay, glass table, and I took a photo of it. I mean, it says nothing, but it's not a terrible photo. It just has no meaning, no significance at all, like my life, <laughs> edgy jokes. <clears throat> oh, wow. Also kind of mad about this photo, because you can't see anything, and it's actually quite a cool it looked cooler mm -hmm. what is this you okay this was in the also at the work window oh wow yeah that's i don't even know what i was aiming at here i seem to really like make things skew like that's so skinny there and it's like oh no what is this what i oh this okay this is a basket basket of flowers basket of flowers no it's a vase and i'm kind of mad that this didn't come out nicely because it looks like from where you can see where there's like bits that are actually exposed looks like it would have been pretty nice the colors and stuff and my focus is so dang sh well it doesn't look sharp now because i've zoomed all the way in and it's green and blah. but damn it that sucks Oh, okay, this didn't turn out terribly. I'm just very confused as to what I'm doing with this composition. Let me flip this. Rotate. Just just do it. Just duplicate it. I like that. I mean, it's a pity about the accidental thing here. I really need to frame things better, but I actually like this. I don't hate it. I'm not too mad about it. And why is this one... Oh, do the zooming thing. Why are you... Oh, I mean, it is as grainy, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because... 
it's more evenly lit. Ah, what is going on here? I don't hate that. That's fine. I mean, a little green, but pff, for expired film. I say that like I know so much about expired film, but I really don't. What is this? Oh my gosh, no, I'm not even going to bother. Also that. Oh, okay, this was very dark. I didn't think this was going to come out nicely. These are hella overexposed, though. The, the, this, that, and oh, wow. So green. Okay, again, I don't hate this photo. This is similar exposure values to that previous one that's kind of similar to this. I don't hate that, though. Is my focus at least sharp? I can't tell, because it's so grainy. Why? Why are you like this? What? Honestly, I have no words for this photo. I literally have no idea what this is of. I can't even remember. I realize I'm not even looking at the camera that much. I'm like staring at the screen. Don't even know what this is of, to be honest. Not a clue. Skip. Skip. Please tell me that's not the last photo. I don't want to end it on a note like that. That sucks. It is, oh, it's the last photo. Oh, well, that's lame. <laughs> okay, okay, let's review the decent ones. I mean, that's, okay, in comparison now, looking at the previous stuff, that's not too bad. <laughs> um, that's not terrible. Terrible. Uh, not great. Pretty terrible. Terrible, awful, pretty bad. Yeah, that's awful. That is actually not, not awful. That's, that's, that is... <laughs> Is it fine, I guess? Still like this. Still like that. I love this. I feel like so far this is my favorite. This little buzz of the Claremont and that person in the background. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. That's also okay. I mean, yeah, it's very noisy. But, you know, it is what it is. It's expired film. Ha. But no, okay, I do like this photo. I don't hate it. This is fine. Also, don't mind this. I don't remember what settings I had. I actually started doing that pretentious film thing that people do where they carry around a little notebook and they supposed to like scribble all of their settings and stuff in it. I now see why it's so important because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. That's terrible. That's terrible. That is also terrible. What? Just, oh wait, I think I know what that photo is now. Did I miss a photo? D why? Just cooperate, just work with me. That, that, oh, I'm not gonna say where that is, but um, that is a terrible photo. I feel like I missed that. This is atrocious. Don't know what that is of. And I'm, okay, I'm mad about this one. Actually, wait, where is my negatives? The camera stopped recording and I don't know when it stopped. So yeah, looked at these. I have no idea what's happened. I was most excited to see that photo. Annoyed. I don't even have words. That is terrible. That is fine. Don't hate it, but it's hard to see if anything's in focus. Really like that still. Terrible. That's fine. Comparatively to everything else. That is a disappointment. That is just, what? Nope. I like this one, actually. Why did I do it at a Dutch tilt? Just why? Why? Why do you do this? Why do you try to be weird with your composition? It always backfires. Oh, no. What? Mm -mm. I mean, that's fine. I don't, I want it. What is that? Oh, I have no idea. I really need to start taking notes on this stuff, honestly. Okay, so I got maybe like five good photos, which is actually kind of in line with what I was expecting, to be completely honest. What I just find a little annoying about this is I can't tell if it's me making a mistake or if it's the film. But good news is my camera works. <laughs> just just want to know. Just like, what did, girl, what did you do with this? What did, What happened there? Honestly, that was it. I have no idea if I'm even gonna post this video. I honestly don't know. I feel like it was so rambly and I'm not used to that. And I don't even know if it's funny. I mean, I'm amused. And I got like, okay, I got like five good photos, goodish photos. I don't know what qualifies a good photo. Whole different discussion. <laughs> anyway, I, I, still, I still love you. Still love you, you good little camera and I'm gonna Carry on taking photos with you and hopefully I get better. We'll see. I'm gonna, I've gone on how many missions now? I've gone on one I went last weekend and took some photos down in Musenburg um, with a black and white film. So I'm very excited to see how those turn out and I'm probably gonna go again on Saturday and shoot some more. And then I've got another roll of, I think, Kodak, like 400 speed. So I might try some stuff with that and see how that goes. Oh, my hair is 
situation right now. I'm getting it cut and colored, guys. I promise it's happening this Sunday because this situation is uh, just not a vibe. Yeah, let me know if this video is terrible because then I'll know never to do anything like this again. But I'm just trying to trying to put out easy content that doesn't require me to spend hours and hours prepping because I would like to do this. I feel like, okay, you know what? I don't care if you don't like it because I enjoyed doing this. <laughs> this was amusing to sit in my lounge and talk to myself for 35 minutes. <laughs> Great, that's fantastic. I'm hungry, I'm gonna wrap this up so I can go and eat food and stop touching your hair, woman. Oh my gosh. If you ever wonder what my inner monologue's like, kinda like this. Great. I'm throwing things all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna just put things down, concentrate on the outro. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I haven't given up on the video essays yet. I do hope to do some more in the future when I have the time, but I, I don't think I'm going to for a while. Like I said, very busy with work and the things that make me money and this does not make me money. It's just for funsies. So yeah, that's, that's it. I'm not gonna say anything more. I'm, otherwise I'm gonna just carry on rambling and I keep looking away from the camera and I need to make eye contact more. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is it. Okay, bye. That was too quick. I need to redo that. Until next time, cheers.